Hey everyone, I'm Ken Whiting, host of Paddle Tales, and today we're going to look at the best paddling tops. Now you can get away with paddling with anything that's in your closet, a raincoat and different shirts, but it doesn't mean it's going to be comfortable. It might protect you from some elements, but it's not going to do a great job. And that's where paddling specific tops come in. And unless you're in an environment that has very little change in temperature, and very consistent water temperatures, you're going to need a number of different paddling tops to choose from if you want to paddle more than one, once or twice a year. So let's look at the best paddling tops available. Before we uh, get into it though, keep your eyes open for the Paddle Tales web series. It's a series that goes to some of the most incredible places in the world and shares amazing paddling adventures along the way. There's a link in the description box down below. So we're going to start with the best paddling tops for cold conditions. And the best paddling top, bar none, for cold conditions is a dry top. Now, what makes a dry top a dry top? These uh, latex gaskets make the top dry. Now this is your neck gasket. It also has gaskets at the wrist too, these same latex gaskets. It's covered by this neoprene uh, gasket just to uh, protect the latex because it can break down um, uh, in the sun. These latex gaskets provide a waterproof, watertight seal and they really do keep you dry. Now the downside of this jacket is that I find latex gaskets, especially around the neck, pretty uncomfortable. You know, it's, it's a, a necessary evil when the conditions are cold, when the water's cold, and when you're dealing with really rough water. When I'm whitewater kayaking uh, in cold environments, definitely a dry top. Uh, sea kayaking in rough water in cold environments, definitely a dry top. It's the ticket. They also have a double, double tunnel system, which your skirt goes over top this first tunnel. The second tunnel comes over top of it. It keeps the water out of your boat. And that's the goal of a good dry top is A, keep water out of your body, away from your body, and B, keep water from going into your boat through your jacket. So ultimate protection against the cold, the dry top. Now the next step down is a splash jacket. And this is my favorite type of all round favorite type of jacket. It's an anorak style of splash jacket. Now it still has latex gaskets at the wrists. So your wrists are waterproof. You can be paddling and dunking your hands in the water and it's not a problem, especially, and you also get to avoid the dreaded pit drip where if you don't have latex gaskets, you got some water in your cuff, you raise your hand up and that cold water runs down your arm, down your back, down your side, and it's a miserable experience when you're already cold. You don't get that by having latex uh, gaskets at the wrist. And it really, for me, the comfort isn't an issue with having latex at the wrist. The neck is where the discomfort happens. And this type of jacket doesn't have latex gaskets at the neck. It has a neoprene, a soft and uh, comfortable neoprene gasket, which still keeps out like 90, 95% of the water. Doesn't keep it all out, but it's much more comfortable. So this is more of a bad weather top. It also has a hood um, for that nasty weather. Uh, it has the double tunnel, so it keeps the water out, out of your kayak, uh, just as well, aside from the neck enclosure, keeps the water out of your kayak very well. Um, this, I really look at the Anorak style of, of jacket. This particular one is the NRS Riptide. It's like a glorified raincoat, it's paddling specific raincoat. Uh, I take it canoe tripping, sea kayak tripping, day trips or multi-day trips. This is like the go-to jacket for um, paddling in, you know, when the conditions are a little harsh. A step down, water's getting warmer, the uh, temperature's starting to soar. You still need a jacket when you're in rougher conditions, whitewater paddling or sea kayaking in rough water that keeps the water 
out of your boat. And so but you still want a splash jacket. This is a shorty splash jacket. It's got short sleeves. It only has neoprene gaskets on the arms and at the neck, so it's comfortable. Uh, it's got the double tunnel system, so your skirt goes over top. Um, this, this first tunnel and then this the second tunnel goes over top the skirt, cinch it down. It's going to keep water from going in to your boat that way too. Very comfortable, keeps, keeps you uh, warm, uh, cuts the wind down, keeps the water out of your boat. Great warmer weather splash top for whitewater kayaking and sea kayaking for rough conditions. Now if you're not dealing with rough conditions and you're not worried about water getting into your kayak because it's not rough, um, then you don't need to go as technical with your tops. You can go with more casual paddling tops. And so on a day like today where it, temperatures are starting to soar and we are about to go, uh, go paddling on some pretty flat water, I'm going to choose one of two to uh, tops. And the first top is actually what I'm wearing right now. And I'm going to be, this is what I'm going to be paddling with. This is the NRS guide shirt. It is, a, I believe it's a, a uh, polyester and nylon mix, not cotton. You know, it doesn't even matter if it's warm out. You really just don't want to wear cotton on the, on the river. It, it never dries. It takes forever to dry. And if it gets cold for some reason, you're going to get cold. Um, but what's cool about this top is it's got the flexible, the stretchy fabric where you need it for paddling underneath the arms. It's all made from a quick drying and wicking uh, fabric. It's just, you know, it's a, a really uh, comfortable shirt to wear on the water, but also you can wear it off the water and, and feel just fine. Now, a little bit more technical is the H2 Core top. This is, a, I believe, a, a polyester spandex mix. It's very stretchy. It's quick drying. It's wicking. It, uh, it's a great base layer. I nearly always use the shorty version, the short sleeve shirt version of this uh, under my short paddle top, my shorty uh, paddle jacket. There's long sleeve versions of this too, which are great under your long sleeve paddle jackets because it's super comfortable too. I mean, this is the silk weight version, extremely soft on, on the body and it, because it's quick drying and wicking, you know, it, it also does, it keeps you warm, a little bit warm when you need to be, but uh, it's a great general purpose shirt to just to wear underneath your life jacket. So those are the five, for me, the five best paddle tops. And I use those five paddle tops, whether I'm sea kayaking, whitewater kayaking, uh, wreck kayaking, stand-up paddling, or rafting, anything. Anytime I'm on, I'm on the water, some of them are great off the water as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to Paddle TV and be sure to check out the Paddle Tales series on our Paddle TV YouTube channel. The link is in the description box down below.